uh, today's subject is speaking tongue. And then, uh, Shun Kwang, uh, he is a very famous philosopher, uh, born in uh, BCA 316, about uh, 2,300 years ago he was born. And then he, uh, he, uh, he was a very famous philosopher, and uh, you know, maybe he you know, uh, you know, um, uh, teaches very many uh, you know, uh, uh, students, and then uh, from him, there are many famous scholars and politicians came out. And then you know somebody you know asked you know uh, him, um, what about uh, what about the offering for the rain like you know uh, rain dance, and then without the rain dance, is there is there going to be rain? And his answer was, without the rain dance. There will be rain. You know, 2,300 years ago, uh, in the uh, uh, Oriental philosopher believed, okay, without you know, rain dance, there will be rain. And many people you know, uh, uh, believe that, okay, if the rain dance continue until rain comes, then rain, you know, rain eventually comes down. But no. Uh, he believed that without the rain dance, there will be rain. Then we don't have to. We don't have to do, you know, uh, offering for the rain, uh, rain dance. Then his answer is interesting. Somebody believe and happy if a king or the you know, high-ranking officer offer to the heaven. You know, asking rain, then they believe you know rain will come down. So somebody believed that way, therefore, uh, you know, offering a rain may be acceptable. That was his answer. Now, when we go to a church, then you know, well, when you know uh, our uh, knowledge and our faith grow up, <clears throat> then, wait a second, I don't know whether I am saved or not. I really born again. Then uh, some, you know, uh, you know uh, senior believer <clears throat> asking him, why don't you going to attend our meeting for speaking tongue? So you know, the, uh, you know, uh, you know, some uh, uh, you know uh, appointment today and the de uh, you know uh, location. They went over there. Then uh, you know, few people, uh, people uh, uh, sit around on the chair or on the floor. <clears throat> then one of the leader asked us, "Okay, you do Hallelujah." Then this one repeat fast. Then, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Then, you know, we said, then, la, 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 la. Then, uh, uh, oh, finally, you uh, may be able to do speaking tongue. You got the, you, uh, you got the gift of Holy Spirit of speaking tongue. Oh, yeah? But, you know, it was, you know, so, uh, you know, relatively easy. So, uh, oh, oh, I'm happy, but this, uh, you know, most of people uh, think, oh, this is uncertain. But you know, uh, you know, you know, somebody said I, I, I am, uh, I am uh, saved. So, oh, yeah, as long as I'm saved, I, I'm happy. Now, uh, <clears throat> some there are many sects in in the Christianity, and some Christianity are uh, criticized. Uh, Catholic that you know that's a sect, and because of uh, Mary you know, all kind of you know uh, all kind of a thing. Now, when you go to the when you go to a um, um, uh, big assembly meeting 
And then there are many, many people who may be able to do speaking tongue. Now, the people who do speaking tongue in Catholic, they believe they, they, uh, they got the uh, gift of Holy Spirit. Now, the another, another, uh, another, you know, uh, sect criticized this is a uh, 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 Catholic is a sect. Then what? They may be able to speak in tongue. Now, how can you, your denomination, call this Catholic a sect? Because they receive the Holy Spirit. Maybe this guy who claimed the other guy is a sect, maybe he is a sect. You know, this is in a phenomenon. Everybody believes I am I'm the only right, you know? Now, uh, let me go further. Now, uh, uh, there are, you know, three, you know, major, uh, major, you know, uh, um, uh, doctrine, like uh, Judaism and the Christianity and Islam, you know. Then, the, uh, in Islam, they do also speaking tongue. <clears throat> when I study something, then, even though, Shaman do speaking tongue. Almost all kinds of religious group do speaking tongue. So, uh, some uh, some uh, religious in our school uh, teach this way: speaking tongue is only phenomenon before Bible is, uh, you know. Finished. After Bible is finished, there is no more speaking tongue. Now, what they use is in our um, Revelation uh, chapter twenty-two. And then you go to all the way, uh, all the way down. Then there is say that if you add another word in this Bible, then. I'm going to give you all kinds of fa uh, uh, a plague written in this book. So therefore, speaking tongue cannot be, you know, accept acceptable anymore. Then you know, uh, you know, I don't know who is right. I'm just telling you, you know, what's going on now. Uh, one uh, while I'm driving, I I hear the sermon of you know one. Uh, 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 one person, and he said, uh, I was, uh, uh, I got the test, and I was a zero. And then, it was because of, you know, the study of, you know, speaking tongue. And he said, you know, uh, uh, this, you know, speaking tongue is a shaman, uh, uh, um, uh, shamanism, superstitious, and uh, so it's not acceptable in the church. And then, you know, professor called him, so he sat down with him, and then, you don't understand the person who can do speaking tongue. If you, if you deny that, you are going to fail in the church. This is the reality of speaking tongue. Now, I, you know, explain one, one example that, you know, uh, uh, Shun Kwang, uh, you know, okay, we don't, we don't, we don't need, you know, offering for rain, but somebody, you know, want to, so, you know, it's okay if you, even though you do that. What's the difference between this uh, example and, you know, speaking tongue? Now, I suggest this one. When shaman or Another religious person who do speaking tongue, okay, without telling, you know, Christian person 
who may interpret the speaking tongue, try to interpret this one. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much for your watching.